Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Annalisa and today I have a little drawing video for you. I am very interested in drawing. It's one of the things I've always been most interested in in my life and I kind of neglected it for a while but I'm really trying to get back on the drawing train and whether I am ever able to pursue it professionally we'll see but either way I really want to just get better at drawing and really have more confidence in my technical skills and so in a very vague, like, unclear way, <laughs> I've been looking to improve them. I've kind of been trying to practice various things here and there that I hear you're supposed to do. I have a bunch of speed paints that I could show you from Procreate because I've been drawing non-stop since I got my iPad. I chose four today that I wanted to talk about and share with my YouTube channel that I'm fairly proud of, but also that I think just overall demonstrate kind of what I'm working on right now, what I'm learning, and just seem like a lot of fun to talk about. So we're going to watch four speed paints together. Um, let's get started. Nico is also here. The first speed paint I want to show you is definitely one of the more realistic drawings I've done in a, in a while. It's still not hyper realistic or anything, like there's definitely some stylized components, but by far the most realism focused drawing I've done in a long time. And it's actually a self portrait, hopefully you can tell. Hopefully it's uh, you know, at least semi -resem resemblant of me. I don't think resemblant is a word. Um, but you know what I mean. So I started from a random bad quality bathroom photo I took of myself just because I was really like, I want to practice the lighting. And it starts out so scary. This is like so uncanny. And the eye shape is like all wrong at the beginning. I, I realize that in, in a little bit here, but this is a, this is a trust the process moment. I just really wanted to challenge myself to like actually accurately reflect the way that the lighting was in this image and like just play with some of the values and see if I could apply any of the advice I ever seen online. <laughs> I think I did okay here, like you'll see it definitely improves a lot towards the end. It starts out pretty rough, very, very, very rough. But by the end of it here, I think, I think we have a somewhat strong resemblance to my face. Like, it definitely does not look exactly like my reference photo, but for what it was, I feel like it served a pretty good purpose and at least like helping me practice and, and teaching me what I was trying to learn. Um, and then I am kind of a big fan. I do like the what I did here with the hair at the end to kind of give it a little bit more of a suggestion of texture without doing it completely. So yeah, finished product, again, not perfect. Um, doesn't even look exactly like me, but I think the resemblance is strong enough to call this a success. And overall, it's a lot better than any other portrait I've ever tried to draw of myself, I feel like, so I'll call it a win in my book. <laughs> okay, um, so I have a confession. Two of the speed paints I'm gonna show you today are characters from the anime My Hero Academia. Now, I have been watching this anime with my boyfriend. He's already seen five seasons of it, but now we're at the part where neither of us have seen it. Anyway, it's quickly becoming one of my favorite shows. It's definitely not gonna like take the place of like Adventure Time or My Little Pony anytime soon, but it's quickly becoming a very, a very loved, beloved show. I really enjoy the characters and they're just such funny little guys. So yeah, I might, and, and I'm watching it. Sometimes I draw while I watch and usually like, it's like, okay, well, if I'm thinking about this character already, might as well draw them. So yeah, there, there are a couple of My Hero Academia characters in there. But that leads me to my next character, my next speed paint, which is this drawing of Deku from My Hero Academia. So this one, I was pretty strongly inspired by the reference. Like I wanted it to have a pretty close uh, correlation, but at this point, I don't think I even realized it, but my line weight is like super different than the reference, it's like way heavier. So I didn't really do a very good job of capturing the style of my reference, but I definitely learned a lot from like the pose and the shading style of the hair. Um, 
and I feel like I was at least semi-successful on this like foreshortening nonsense uh, that's kind of the bane of every artist, every, every amateur artist's existence. But overall, this piece turned out pretty good too, I think, um, for what it was. It didn't take me that long. And I just, I just like the colors and stuff, so. And it taught me a little bit about the hair. That was my main takeaway from this one, was like that style of shading for the hair. So now we're gonna break away from the My Hero characters for just a second, and we've got an OC. Now this is a drawing of Molly, who is one of the original characters I've had like for so long. Not my oldest original characters, but definitely they've been around, like they've been, she's been, she's part of a core group. Um, and I didn't draw them or think about them for like a really long time, but as I've gotten back into kind of drawing and creating stuff and creating characters, I've really enjoyed playing with some of my old original concepts, and so I I thought I'd I thought I'd give drawing her a chance. Um, I kind of have done a redesign on her character in this one. This the reference I'm using is actually another drawing I did of this character that I don't like at all. Looking back on it, and it's so funny how quickly your opinion can change on your art like i swear every time i draw something i think it's like the greatest thing ever for like three days and then i look at it and i'm like the fuck is this this one this one holds up okay i i like her little pose i feel like the the composition of the character design is satisfying and cute it flows well so i am proud of that um but the feet those feet are pretty weak i and then the sh well, i don't know what's going on with the shading at the end someone please help someone please help me and then i spent forever picking the background color and i finally ended on black but she's cute like it overall when you at first glance you take a look at it and it and it's like a cute it's a cute little character design but i could do better but i just want to show you that one because i thought it was cute Okay, now we have another My Hero character. So, this is Bakugo from My Hero Academia. I think I actually did way better with this one than I did my last My Hero study, I guess you could call it. I still wasn't trying to like exactly replicate my reference, but I was definitely trying a lot harder to like replicate sort of the style of like shading and like the line wave and just make it obviously exactly those and everything. I don't know. I was trying to do really clean line art. I don't know if it was worth it or not. But there's the base colors. He's he's looking pretty good. I had trouble getting his eye shape right. I don't know why. I struggle with making the eyes consistent. And then I tried playing around with like highlights and it just didn't work out. So I just I nixed that and I moved on to the background. And then I added some textures over him and like just messed with the colors and everything. And that was what I ended up on. And since I finished this piece last night, and this is probably just my uh, bias of having recently completed it, but I'm actually really proud of this one. I really like how it turned out. I think it really captures Bakugo. And I think I did a pretty good job of adhering to the style I was trying to replicate from my reference. Um, but again, I'm probably just biased because I just finished that one and like, in Day after tomorrow i'll hate it probably but those were the four speed paints i wanted to share today like i said i've been drawing non-stop on procreate so i have a lot of these i want to make more different like art topic videos in general because there's a lot of different avenues i want to explore but this was really just about sharing my process and some things i've been working on and if you have any feedback for how I could improve these drawings or like things you spot that maybe I could do easier or whatever, please let me know. I'm trying to get better at art, but that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching this video.